Hello, I'm Wendy from 3D Worldwide. In this video, we're going to learn how to add material to our spline modeling mug that we created in our other video. If you haven't already seen this video, please you'll have to create the mug first, then carry on from there. We're going to use an arts and design mental ray material. But before we can access the material, we need to make sure we have the mental ray renderer assigned. So we'll go to rendering, render setup, Let's just scroll down to Assign Renderer. And here in Production, let's just see if we have Mental Ray Renderer. If you haven't, press on the small, the small box. And here from Choose Renderer, you can select Mental Ray Renderer, then OK. Then close the dialog. We're going to delete the Turbo Smooth. To do this, we just have to go over to the stack and click on the little bin that's underneath to remove the modifier. There we are. Now we can right click on the mug and from the transform list convert to an editable poly. Let's press J on the keyboard to get rid of the bounding box. There we are, that's a lot easier to see now. We're going to convert this to a multi-coloured mug. To do that we're going to use material IDs and a multi-subobject material. Let's start by tilting our mug. We'll zoom in right to the bottom. Let's go over to the Edit Poly and select the Vertex Mode. Now click on the Center Vertex, right there in the middle. Hold the Control key down and convert to Polygon Mode. There we are. Now we've just selected all the bottom polygons. We'll go back over to Selection and press Grow. We'll just carry on pressing it several times more, right to the top. There we are. As you can see, we have selected all the outside polygons. Let's just scroll down. We'll go to Polygon Material IDs and we'll set the Material ID to 1. Press Ctrl I on the keyboard to invert the polygons. Now we'll go back over to the Material IDs and we'll set the Material ID to 2. We can also apply a Material ID to the handle. Let's just straighten it a little. Now we're going to drag our mouse right through here, through the center, right through the center. Make sure we've got all the polygons selected. And we'll go back over to Selection and press Grow. There we are. We have all the handles selected. Let's go back over to the Polygon Material IDs and we can set the Material ID to 3. Press M on the keyboard to open the Material Editor, or you can just click on the icon here on the main toolbar. Now from Materials Standard, we're going to drag out a multi-subobject material. Let's double click to open it. We want three material IDs, so let's go to Set Number and type in 3, then OK. The material ID 1 is going to be the outside of the mug. Let's just click here on the None button. Then from the Mental Ray Materials, we're going to click on Arch and Design, then OK. If we just look here in View 1, we can see that an Arch and Design material has automatically been connected to our multi sub object. Let's double click to open the material. Then in the Diffuse Color, we'll click on the Small Color slot. And we can choose, say, a blue, then OK. Let's do the same again for the Material ID 2. We'll go back to the multi sub object, click on the None button, Arch and Design, OK. Now, if we go over here to the small color slot, we can just click on it, and we can choose a yellow. This is going to be the inside of the mug, then OK. Now let's click again on the None button, Art and Design, OK. We'll click here on the little color slot underneath. And we'll make, this is going to be the handle. Let's give it a, a green handle. Then OK. Let's go to the top bar and click on Layout or Vertically. There we are. Now we can see how all our material has been assigned to our multi sub object material. OK, let's drag our material to the mug. We're just going to grab here, drag the output slot, and we'll drag it over to the mug. Just close the material editor a minute. 
There we are. We can see our material has been applied correctly. We can add a Turbo Smooth modifier if we like. If not, let's scroll down. We'll scroll down here to Subdivision Surface and we'll use the Use NURMS Subdivision. Then in the Display Itinerations, let's set that to 2. Let's go and turn Editable Poly off by clicking on it. And let's press F4 on the keyboard to turn off edged faces. Here we are. Now we have our multicolored mug. This is a very quick and easy way to apply multi-materials to an object. Thank you for watching. Enjoy.